Hey guys, today we're going to tie a very simple bait fish pattern. Uh, we're going to be using the Gamagatsu B10S in size 2. This fly is mostly comprised of um, Senyo's laser dab in uh, various colors and also includes Flash, Jungle Cock, um, Arctic Fox, and Solar Res UV resin. So We'll start by putting the hook in the vise, and I'm using GSP. Now this is Beavis GSP. I'm just gonna apply a layer of thread to the shank. We adjust my hook here. So first, I'm going to use Arctic Fox. Now this is an Arctic Fox tail. Um, this one ran me about 30 bucks. It almost seems like an off-white, but the quality is very good, and it's actually pretty white. So I'm going to take some long fibers here. Take a good clump, because we're going to be taking out the end of her. I'm going to grab the tips. And take out the end of her. You can use that for other flies. So this will form our tail. I'm going to put this in a hair stacker. So this is basically going to be the same length, the same proportions as a, a lefty's deceiver. So I have the tail in here. Cut the excess off just short of the eye. And we'll do some loose wraps and tie that down good. So you can add flash, you can not add flash, it's completely up to you. Um, I've been a big fan of this. It's a vineyard product. It's crinkle flash. And this is peacock black. Now, they stopped making this particular shade of peacock black. This is old stock. Um, so if you do see this darker color, be sure to pick it up. But I'll just take um, two strands. Two on each side, so we can double it up. So two on my side. Make a couple wraps, pull it over to your side, and tie it in. I'm gonna trim that book just a little, little, little bit longer than the length of the tail. So the body is composed of Senyo's laser dub. You could also use uh, your underfur from your Arctic Fox. So first of all, we're gonna make the body, the belly of the fly. So we're just gonna use Senyo's laser dub in white. You wanna line the fibers as much as possible. Now, the way you tie in your fibers depend just depends on how you want to make this fly. If you want to make it short and stout, or if you want to make it long and slender, like more like a smelt rather than a gas bro or a shad. So I'm just going to tie this in about halfway down the tail. Do a pinch wrap. That here. So now we're going to take laser dub in tan. Just do the same thing. Even out the fibers as best as possible. And again, put halfway down the tail.
make a couple wraps. Now, this is quite bulky, but you can actually compress it a bit by doing by placing a wrap just behind where you tied it in, rather than um, having it uh, naturally fluff up, you can kind of compress it a bit. Zoom set down, you want to advance your thread forward. And now you can take another clump of your white and line the fibers as best as possible. This one is a little shorter. And take our tan again. This particular fly can be tied in various colors um, to suit whatever bait fish you want. This one kind of imitates a a chub or a dace or even a small small sucker minnow this one's a bit long so I'll just pull, pull the feathers pull the fibers off and shorten them and again We'll compress it with a wrap just in front of, just behind where it was tied in. Okay, that's our thread. So now I want to make silvery uh, belly so we'll use laser dub in uh, silver metal belly And we're going to start forming a dark, darker part of the top, so just laser dub and brown. The dark back on the minnow. Again, line your fibers up. Sweep everything back. And we'll do again. Compress it with a wrap tightly. We'll brush it out a bit here. Take any loose fibers. Now you see we have that nice taper paper in, in the profile and the and the color so it goes from gray white tan and then brown 
So now we're going to take a jungle cock cape. Um, these can run uh, quite high, over $100. Uh, this one, a lot of the goodies used off it, but these uh, secondary feathers are also very good for streamers. So we'll take two of these, and these will form the cheeks of the fly. This adds nice um, natural coloration as well as natural movement to the fly. And these are these stems are almost a little brittle, so I'm just gonna add a little super glue at this point. This is just gel super glue. Advance our thread. Again, we're going to come in with this UV, or sorry, silver minnow belly laser dub. Even the tips up. Very simple fly. You can weight this if you want. I'm gonna be fishing on a sinking line, so it doesn't really need to be weighted in my case. the fly out, blend the materials. So if you want to make a really thicker bodied, thicker headed fly, you can leave it like this and, and just add your eyes. Or you, again, you can take your wrap and really add that nice pinched head look, which I, is what I prefer. Nice teardrop shape. So we're gonna wet finish this. Now we're gonna take some, um, these are frog eyes I got from a local uh, supplier. Um, I'm not sure the actual size. I really like the look of them on minnow patterns. So we're gonna add a dot, drop of gel super glue just behind where we made our wrap. Just cinch the material down in the front. Um, these have a teardrop shape to them. I like to add the teardrop shape facing towards the eye of the hook. Then again on my side.
Don't you hate when that happens? Take some solar res. Thin. And apply a light coat just where your thread wraps were. Disperse it with your bodkin. Seal in the eyes and in your work. I'll hit that with a UV light. I like to pull the, my belly back a bit just to reduce the amount of material uh, towards the front. I like to add that real minnow pattern, minnow taper. Just helps hold the material back. Finish it in the sun, but yeah, it's basically your simple um, Arctic Fox and uh, laser dub minnow pattern. I had success with this just the other day on smallmouth bass. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't work for a large brook trout or any other uh, piscivorous fish species. Thanks.